What the fuck? Dude, this guy. Hello, minions. Today, I'm going to tell you all about the new drill charge lethal equipment in Modern Warfare 2 and why it's my, like, favorite new thing added to the game and why you should be using it, like, literally right now, like, all the time. Let's go talk about it. So if you're unfamiliar with the new drill charges, as the name suggests, what the drill charges do is stick to a surface, drill through to the other side, and launch a grenade out to explode on the other side of that surface. Now, they won't drill through all surfaces, but they will drill through, drill through more than you would expect. And if they don't drill through a surface, then they will explode on the surface that they're stuck to. It's also important to note that they do cause a small amount of explosive damage on the side they're stuck to, so don't stick one to the wall right next to yourself and stand there, or you could end up getting yourself hurt or killed. So, first, let's look at the class setup that I use for drill charges. So obviously you can build out your class with whatever weapon that you want, but when it comes to the drill charge specifically, the most important part of your loadout is going to be in your perk package, and it's going to be your second perk, which I would recommend as resupply. So what resupply does is it gives you uh, an additional lethal, which is an additional drill charge, and additionally your equipment recharges over 25 seconds. This includes your tacticals and your lethals. So this essentially gives you an infinite supply of drill charges during a match, um, and they are so much fun and so effective. I, I run this all the time. That second perk slot has been pretty much gutted, so there's not a whole lot there um, that I personally choose to use beyond recharge. Um, so throw those gel charges on uh, and, and go run two charges at once. Now let's quickly talk about some drill charge strategies. As you expect, Drill charges work great on walls, and using them to lead your, into objectives or to dislodge someone that's behind cover or camping in an area is the most common way you'll use them. What you may not realize is that drill charges also work well when someone is around a corner. So if you stick the charge right up against the corner, the explosion will hit around the corner, meaning think of it as kind of a half explosion that comes out the side of the wall in that the drill charge kind of explodes inside the wall and part of it comes out on the other side of the corner. So keep that in mind. It's very effective if you're shooting at someone and they back around a corner, just stick it right to the edge of that corner. And my personal favorite use for drill charges is killing people above or below your position. Drill charges can be stuck to ceilings and floors, which actually makes them super effective at attacking or defending objectives from relative safety, or just taking out enemies that you can hear stomping around you, or that are maybe camping in an area where they're watching a doorway or a stairwell that leads to their position, but if they're upstairs or downstairs, uh, you can get a surprise attack on them with a drill charge. And finally, drill charges also work like Semtex in that they can stick directly to enemies. The best thing about sticking a player is all the hit markers you get while it's drilling into them and causing damage. Uh, and then the final explosion, uh, if they aren't killed by the, the drill itself, the final explosion that finally finishes them off. So now let's talk briefly about how drill charges can be countered, either so you can be aware of what other people might do to survive your drill charges, or how you can survive other people using drill charges, because these are already pretty popular. I expect as more people learn about them, it will become even more so. So Bomb Squad is the most obvious counter, and it's very effective against a single drill charge. Um, but it won't really allow you to tank multiple, so if the enemy is running Bomb Squad, make sure that you send two drill charges anytime you can, if you're running Resupply, um, and also 
be aware if you're running Bomb Squad that you can probably expect multiple drill charges to hit your position if you start to see them flying in. Beyond that, when you're in a location that's likely to be hit by drill charges, such as objectives or known camping spots, or if someone just knows where you are because you've killed them a couple of times from that location, um, try not to stick right next to the walls, right? Because that's where the drill charge is coming in. And as soon as you see that drill charge warning icon and hear the drilling noise, run. Even if you have bomb squad, it's not worth trying to tank those. And again, it'll probably be either followed up by another explosive uh, or you will be weakened, and so a, a stray shot coming in could also finish you off. So if you if you <laughs> see a drill charge coming, you might as well just leave <laughs> and uh, come back after it's gone. Okay, minions, hopefully you found that interesting and hopefully it motivates you to go and use those drill charges and blow up campers and shit. It's going to be great. Uh, if you guys want to see another Modern Warfare 2 video I did, I did a video that was taken from one of my Twitch streams, which kind of breaks down why the Al Bagra Fortress map is unbalanced shit. Um, so go check that out. I'll have a link on the end card. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.